Hello everybody, this is Lightstar Nexus, and welcome back for more Let's Play Tales of Asperia Blind. In the last episode, we killed an egg bear. And in this episode, we're going to, I think, heal the tree of Halur. Oh, you're back. Have you got the ingredients together? We sure did. Egg bear claw, and fruit, and, Lul and Luluria petals. That's everything. Alright, let's get this stuff made. Please, Carol. Carol, whatever. Select so synthesis from the shop to use the material, whatever. Okay, synthesis, panacea bottle. Okay. There we are. There you go, one panacea bottle. Now I'll be able to cleanse the poison. Let's hurry. Whoa, whoa, settle down. You'll drop the bottle if you're not careful. Right. That would be. Let's. Then let's hurry cautiously. Yeah, because if you drop that bottle, we're all screwed. Okay, so let's head back up there. And see what we can and or cannot do about this. You made the antidote to cleanse the tree of poison? Carol, it's up to you. I'm no good at this sort of thing. Who, me? Okay, then. Here it goes. Didn't Carol say there was someone he wanted to show the blossoms of Halor to? I think so. Here's hoping we aren't too late. The tree is... Please, great tree of Halur, restore the fallen barrier. Please. No way! Was the dosage too small? Or maybe this isn't the right way. We'll have to get another panacea bottle. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. That was the last of the Luluria petals. But... but we tried so hard. Please, Great Tree. Estelle. Can this be? Is she using healing arts? Oh, it's like a dream. There's no way. And yet... <sighs> yay, yay! <laughs> You're the greatest! Thanks for making the Tree of Halur healthy again! We owe you our gratitude. Thanks to this, our city can live once more. What did I just... That was incredible, Estelle. Can you get up? Yuri! Flynn's gonna be so surprised to see the flowers blooming. <laughs> That'll show him. You and Flynn seem to have such a strange relationship. You are friends, aren't you? He's just someone I grew up with, that's all. Um... Aren't those the people from the castle? We can't let these people get caught up in this. 
Let's lay low for a while. Huh? What did I miss? Where are you guys going? Halor's flowers sure are beautiful. I feel like I'm dreaming. Yeah, they're even nicer than I thought they'd be. Yeah, this really makes it feel like our hard work was worth it. Halor shouldn't worry about monsters attacking, as long as the barrier stays like this. Halor's tree will keep everyone safe. That cutscene was incredible. I'm sorry, but as someone who loves, like, just... I don't know. I loved that. That was incredible. <laughs> I'm definitely enjoying this game way too much. Uh, I love this game. I love this game. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I never played the... I, I can't believe I've never played the Tales games before. Because if all of them are as fantastic as this... Man, those guys are a pain in the neck. I wish we could wait here for Flynn to come back. Who is this Flynn person? He's an Imperial Knight that Estelle's got a crush on. What? I don't have a crush on him. You don't? Oh, I get it. You two are already a thing, then. No, it's not like that at all. Well, anyway, we best get away from the town. Yes, you're right. We wouldn't want to cause trouble for the villagers. Do you know where the Flynn guy went off to? You can follow him at you follow after him. Didn't they say you're going off to the east? Yes, they did. Then I'd like to go to Then I'd like to go to Espio somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goons the goon squad shows up. Please wait. You deserve a reward for restoring our tree. Please stop by at my house. Oh, please, don't mind. I will be waiting at my house. Please come. Um, wait. A reward? What do you say? Well, I guess we can't ignore his offer and leave. I wasn't really sure what, the, what I did back there. I don't think I deserve anything. Let's just stop by the mayor's house. We can still decline his offer there. Were those the Red Eyes? So you got both the Imperial Knights and those guys after you? Yeah, I seem to be a big hit with all the weirdos. And what did you do to get so popular? Yeah, there's 21 years worth of stuff. Listing everything might take a while. On second thought, never mind. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh, Yuri. This is fun. I love this game. Welcome, welcome. Here, make yourself at home. Thank you, but unfortunately we need to be leaving very soon. Are you leaving before that young knight is back? The situation's changed a bit. Did something come up? You could say that. If there's anything I can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. We appreciate the sentiment, but we can't ask for your help. I see. Then it's not much, but at least I'd like I at least like you to take this. Who, me? I didn't do anything at all. But since your friend helped out so much... Well then... Well then, I'd be happy to... No, we can't take that. Oh, um... Yeah, I guess I can't take that. But then how will I ever repay you? Well, how about this? The next time we come into town, set us up with VIP Blossom Viewing picnic seats. That's a great idea. I can't wait. All right then. The next time you're here, I'll put my heart and soul into paying back what you've done for us. Oh, can I ask you one more thing? Have you ever heard of a town called Espio? Espio. Ah, uh, yes, I believe that's the name. That's the name of the city of Shade. The city of Shade. From what I've heard, the town lies between tall mountains, and sunlight rarely reaches its gates. Every now and then, a few quiet folks in cloaks and hoods come to our town and get supplies. Well, they're quite creepy, to be honest. Our town doesn't deal with them much. Where's the town located? Towards the east, I think. I wish I could tell you the 
tell you the exact location. Flynn was heading east as well, wasn't he? Yeah, I suppose the City of Scholars might have some link to the Blasty after all. Thanks, that's all I needed. I'm coming for you, Mordio. That's right, we still have to go and hunt down Mordio. Oh, by the way, um, this place right now, I love it. It reminds me so much of Kamiki Village. Oh, I love this game. I love it so much. This may be a selfish thing to say, but I'm happy this means we're continuing our journey. I haven't known this sort of freedom until now. <laughs> so, Carol, what are your plans? I want to go to the port city and cross over to Tobikia from there. So I guess it's goodbye then. Huh? Thanks, Carol. It's been fun. Please take care of yourself. On second thought, maybe I'll stick with you guys a little while longer. Why? Y you guys would be lost and lonely without me around. Well, you have come in surprisingly handy, Captain. Well then, let's all go together. So, east was it? Yeah, Flynn went east. Okay. I'd like to get to Ospio somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goon squad shows up. Hey, so just who is this Flynn guy anyway? Were you and him seeing each other, Estelle? What do you mean, seeing each other? Flynn is Yuri's friend. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Two friends going after the same girl? You got a little wild side, don't you, Estelle? What do you mean, wild side? No, it's all right. You can keep your secrets. You so got the wrong idea. <laughs> I love the way this place looks at the barrier. And it actually looks like this place has gotten... It definitely looks a lot bigger now on the outside. Oh my god. Stay away from that thing. Okay, so to the east, uh, was he talking about this? No, he wasn't. Oh my god, stay away. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna keep walking in this direction. Actually, now that I think about it, I ever mentioned how much I hate flying enemies? The area outside the barrier isn't quite as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> But it's like I read. Outside the barrier, there are monsters everywhere. It's so dangerous. Oh, yeah? Think about all the knights going to all the cities of the world. This is nothing. <laughs> but a lot of people hardly ever go out of the city. Like you, Yuri. And some people never even go out of the castle. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying, I think I actually have an idea as to where we're supposed to go. I think it's actually over here. So I remember seeing something that looked like, yeah, that. Is that where we need to go over here? Hey, it's daytime. As I was saying, let's try and stay away from everything. I hope this is the right direction we need to go. It looks like this is Ospio. It's so gloomy and damp here. It's giving me the chills, too. It's because the city is in a cavern. I wonder if the lack of sun drives the people here to do shady things, like stealing Blastia cores. So we've made it to Ospio. So it's correct. We are in the right place. May I see your passport, please? Our passport. This is an Imperial facility. We can't let anyone inside, can we? Passport? You don't have one of those, do you? An associate of ours is inside. Could you please let us through? If you filled out the official violate or visitation paperwork, then you then you ought to have gotten your passport from this associate of yours. This is the first we've heard of heard though. If you won't listen, perhaps you could call him to the gate for us. What is your associate's name? Mordio. 
Mordio? We can't help you. You'll need to mail a request and have a passport officially issued to you. Damn, you don't budge an inch, do you? Excuse me, but did a knight by the name of Flynn happen to stop by here? All information about the establishment is classified. We cannot share even small details about outsiders. So you can't even tell me why Flynn was here? No, of course not. So what you're saying is that Flynn really did come here. I, I don't know who you're talking about. A man named Flynn? Or a knight named Flynn? Never heard of him. Can we at least leave a message? Give it up, Estelle. We have more luck asking a brick wall for help. Let's just go. But Flynn's inside. What, are we just gonna give up? We're not- I'm not going to give up. I'm going to see Flynn. And I'm going to take back that blast- I'm gonna take back that blast here from that thief, Mordio, and give him a beating he won't forget. So we can't go looking for- so can't we look for another way in? Of course we can. Let's just take a stroll around, why don't we? As a last resort, maybe we could just go over the walls. I want you to know that that's how we do it. Oh, what is this? What the? What in the bloody hell? Kick, kick, kick. <laughs> At last, someone found me. I've been waiting. I, I'm wonder, I'm wonder, I'm wonder chef. I travel the world far and wide, seeking gourmet food and travelers who, that appreciate the importance of fine dining. You'll usually find me in disguise. A food connoisseur should have no problem seeing through it, though. Call, call it a test, if you will. And it seems you're like one. You're one of them. Hey, <laughs> you've got potential. For that, I'm going to reward you with a recipe. Learn the recipe, Salisbury steak. I'll give you this so you can practice. Obtain three sets of ingredients for the recipe. For the love of food, bon appetit! <laughs> there are a lot of strange objects scattered throughout the world. Wonder Chef might have disguised as some of them. When you find him, he will reward you with the recipe. Try and seek him out on your journey. What the bloody hell was that all about? Doors like this never open when you want them to. I guess we'll have to climb over the wall and open it from the inside. A little quick jump is our last res a little a little quick to jump to our last resort, aren't we? Let's wait for Flynn to come out then. Even if Flynn comes out, it's not like he's going to bring Mordio out with him. Well, if Flynn comes outside, we can ask him to let us in, can't we? He never go for a plan like this. He's far too much of a goody goody. Carol, what are you doing? There, it's open. Huh? You you can't do that. Your guild specializes in hunting monsters, right? Or are you guys or are you guys into thieves guild type stuff too? Um hey, um, yeah. Well, I'm pretty much the only one who can do do anything like that. Well good job, shall we? No, that's bad. We should just wait here for Flynn. You don't have the patience to wait for Flynn to just walk out on walk out of the town by chance. It was unquestionable it was unquestioning obedience to laws that authority in times like this and made me quit the Imperial Knights in the first place. Wow, that was a mouthful and a half. But, but Well then, Estelle, keep a lookout for us here, won't you? Wait, but but um I'm going with you. Man, there are a lot of Mordio lookalikes here, aren't there? Excuse me, do you have a minute? What do you want? Could, would you happen to know if a knight named Flynn Skifo had come through here? Flynn? Oh, that guy, he was saying something about going to catch someone who'd been vandalizing ruins. 
Where is he now? I could I can say my research keeps me too busy to pay attention to things like that. I see. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'll be taking my leave then. Hey, wait up. Tell me one more thing. Is there a famed mage named Mordio around here? Ah! There are people who want to see that weirdo. So I was right. You know Mordio? No, I don't know anything at all. I don't associate with people like that. Hey, I'm not done yet. What? What is it? Tell me where the mage is. Mordio lives among us. Lives lives alone in a shack by the back. Back. Mordio lives in a shack back that way. Go and see for yourself if you want. Thanks. Are you sure about this? Hmm. Everyone seems to get all all out of sorts from, just from hearing that guy's name. It's weird. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, doesn't it bother you? Well, he's a blasty thief. It's no wonder people like him. You know, Yuri, your attitude, your behavior, they don't seem very knightly. Where'd that come from? I mean, we're entering the city through a back entrance, like thieves. This coming from the guy who picked the lock. I'm just tagging along to find Flynn, and now you've turned me into a thief. We haven't stolen anything. Sheesh. <laughs> Oh, Esteliz. Ah, well, there's a save point here. I think I'm going to take the time to end the episode right now. So thank you all for watching. My name is Lacer Nexus, and until next time, everybody.